Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're unboxing these brand new 3 ton and 6 ton Daytona jack stands. On the left is this 3 ton Daytona jack stand. Harbor Freight has been carrying these jack stands for many years. I got them to use with the 3 ton big red jack stands that I've owned for 5 years. Together, they help me lift all 4 wheels of a car off the ground. On the right side is this all new 6 ton Daytona jack stand that just came out about 2 weeks ago. I got these 6 ton jack stands mainly for their height rather than their weight capacity. I got my project truck early this year and found that my 3 ton jack stands struggled to lift the lifted truck off the ground. I personally am not comfortable going under the car with the jack stands pushed to their limits. These 6 ton jack stands look taller and more stable than the 3 ton jack stands so I think they work better holding up my truck. Since I have both the 3 ton and the 6 ton jack stands, I feel it's a great opportunity to show you guys how they look. I talk about their design, build quality, safety features, and price. For comparison purposes, I use my big rack jack stands that have worked well for me for many years as a benchmark. Without further ado, let's take the jack stands out of their boxes. The Daytona jack stands only come with one color, black. I think black is pretty cool, but it would be great if they come with more colors in the same color schemes as their floor jacks. The Daytona jack stand uses the standard ratcheting design that composed of a center column, a base frame, and a locking lever with a ratcheting mechanism. These jack stands also comes with a safety pin, which I'll talk more about later in the video. The 6 ton jack stands looks almost identical to the 3 ton jack stands, except that the 6 ton jack stands have large feet welded to the four corners of the base frame. These large feet can provide better support so that the base don't sink into the ground when holding up heavy weight. One thing that stood out to me about the base frame was that these Daytona jack stands do not have opening on the side like the other brand's jack stands do. They also have their brand name and the lifting capacity written in these big white fonts on the base frame which in my opinion looks really good. However, just looking good isn't enough. They need to be built well since it could cause serious injuries and even death if they fail. Let's look at the build quality from the welding on the base frame and the teeth size on the center column. First, welding. The welds on these Daytona jack stands look very smooth. Let's look at the comparison of weldings between the 3 ton Daytona and the big red jack stands. Here's a shot from the front. Here's a shot from the top. And here's a shot from the bottom. I don't know too much about welding, but the welds on the Daytona jack stands looks much cleaner and smoother than the welds on the big rack jack stands. I take this as a plus for the Daytona jack stands. Next, let's look at the tooth size. These teeth on the center column are a critical part of the ratcheting mechanism for locking the center column in place at a certain height. If the teeth are too short, it may not securely lock the center column in place, which could lead to jack stand failure and threaten the safety of anyone working under the vehicle. Here is how the Daytona jack stand center column compares to the big red jack stand center column. We can see that the teeth on both center columns have the same depth. The Daytona jack stand's teeth seem skinnier than the big red one. However, these Daytona jack stands does meet the American standards for its advertised weight, and I didn't find any recalls on these jack stands over the years, so I think they're okay. The Daytona 6 ton's teeth looks wider and thicker than the 3 ton jack stands. The thickened teeth will help the jack stands hold up heavier weight. Now, let's look at the safety features. Like my big red jack stands, these Daytona jack stands also comes with safety pins. Because the ratcheting mechanism is one directional, when you grab the jack stands by the center column, the base frame won't follow and will fall out. Also, if you pick up the jack stands and tilt them when carrying them around, the center column might fall out and may cause damage. Don't ask me how I know it. With the safety pin, you stick the safety pin through this hole 
It will lock down the center column and the ratcheting lever so none of them can move. This will ensure the center column won't fall out. However, since the safety pin is loose, there is still a chance that they might fall out when you tilt the jack stands at a certain angle when carrying. These Daytona jack stands also provide an extra pin to lock down the safety pin, so the safety pin won't fall out no matter how you tilt the jack stand. This extra pin is not available on the big rack jack stands. I really dig this design. When it comes to safety, better safe than sorry. After the build quality, let's look at their height, which is another important feature that we care about. When fully retracted, my old big rack jack stands measures 11 and a quarter inch. The 3 ton Daytona jack stands measures 11 and 3 8 inch. And the 6 ton Daytona jack stands measures 15 and a half inch. When fully extended, the big rack jack stands measures 16 and 3 quarters of an inch. The 3 ton Daytona jack stands measures 16 and a quarter of an inch as well. The 6 ton Daytona jack stands measures a whopping 23 and 3 quarters of an inch. That's really tall. To put them into perspective, here's how these jack stands look fully extended next to my Mustang. Here's how these jack stands look fully extended next to a Toyota Sierra. Here is how these jack stands looks fully extended next to a work van, which is similar in height to a regular SUV. Here is how these jack stands looks fully extended next to my lifted project truck. And here is an extra shot of how they look next to the rear axle of my project truck. We can see that the 3 ton jack stands are good enough to hold up sedans and minivans. For vehicles with higher ground clearance, the 6 ton jack stands will give you the extra height and base stability without having to push the jack stands to their limits. Finally, let's talk about price. The 3 ton Daytona jack stand is priced at $40 and the 6 ton Daytona jack stand is priced at $75 at regular price. This price is on par with major competitors like Big Red and ProLift. I got the 3 ton jack stands for $30 on a Spring Black Friday sales event. I got the 6 ton jack stands full price, but I could potentially get them for $60 with a 20% off coupon that Harbor Freight offers occasionally throughout the year. This makes it a nice deal if you have a Harbor Freight close to you. Alright, it's time to conclude this video. Here's my final verdict of these Daytona jack stands. These Daytona 3 ton and 6 ton jack stands look well made. I love the black color and the big white text on the base frame. They come with a safety pin and an extra pin to lock the safety pin, which is really nice. The 3 ton jack stand is enough to work on small cars to up to minivans. The 6 ton jack stand seems to be high enough for pickup trucks and slightly lifted vehicles. I do a follow up video after using these jack stands throughout this year. If you're interested, please subscribe and stay tuned for that one. If you like the content of this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I see you next time.